welcome to today's video. Before I start, if you see dots like in the background, it was those damn snowflakes from my December backdrop. Um, not much I can do about it. I've had to like spot conceal my wall. As you can see, it kind of looks like a Dalmatian right now, but it should look better hopefully soon. Um, if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to crack open that tin of paint and paint over it, but it's like left a little oily glue dots on the wall, so hopefully they fade. As you can tell from the title of this video, today is my December's Birchbox Glossy Box Pink Parcel Unboxing. Battle of the Boxes December edition. Basically this video is coming up really late, basically the whole month has passed because basically Birchbox came to me for literally the last day of December. Um, it's not a problem though, however, it just means that I've put Battle of the Boxes up a bit later this month. I'm aware that I look very blushy on the monitor, so hopefully it's not coming across that way on camera. But I look a little bit like Coco the Clown. We'll look past it. Obviously because it is December and it's the last month of the year I will be eliminating the box unfortunately with the least amount of points and um, we've been doing this for a year and a half now I was going to do it after a year but like my birch box subscription was a bit of an off like it was off key so I've done a whole year of grading them this year and yeah whoever is last at the end of this video will be booted out and I have got a new box coming into the little battle of the boxes in January um so we'll still have three boxes we'll just have a different box and the box in last place will be booted out but it's okay I just want to keep it fresh I want to keep it new content sort of so the birch box this month or December's birch box is stunning and I would quite happily wait for this look how beautiful this is the top is all blue glitter with gold shiny stars and like the edges have got like little trees and snow I really love this I actually keep my Christmas boxes like my glossy box and my birch boxes for like cards and tags I keep my birch box ones for tags because it's quite handy but the box is beautiful okay so looking straight in the box it's looking quite full um, to the point where it's nearly falling out but the first thing I want to pick up is this it looks like a little jewellery box, but it's not. It's from Hotel Chocolat. Looking in the leaflet, it actually says that there's two little um, extra treats in this month's box. So I'll do the two extra treats first. This is just like a Hotel Chocolat uh, duo of chocolates. A special chocolate treat for your December birch box, although you're sweet enough already. Stop it, birch box. They actually look really, really yummy. Hotel Chocolat is quite expensive, but there's really nice chocolate. I don't actually, I'm like, I've not had a lot of Hotel Chocolat chocolate just because it is quite a high price, but they look yum. The next free treat it says on the little card is this little comb. Apparently this retails for five pounds. I feel like combs have just become like a little bit more fashionable, like this sort of size, you get the like rose quartz ones. This comb is actually pretty cool. It's just like a really nice blue with these darker blue shapes on it. The next thing is this big red tube. This is the Rituals, the Ritual of Ayurveda body cream. Um, it retails for £19.50 and is like a big luxury sample. Um, the body cream is an ultimate multitasker, rejuvenating body bath and mind. No, it says both body and mind. Ooh, smells really good actually. It says it's a body cream, but I think you get away with this being a hand cream. It's quite, it looks quite thin. This is quite nice, I like it. The next thing is this. This is a Benefit Gold Rush Blush. Now, I've actually recently only just bought the full size of this. It's like a peachy rose, I'd say. It's, it leans more peach, but it's not as peach as, say, California. I really liked this blush, and when I swatched it in the store, it's a really nice colour, and I thought this was a nice, buildable, everyday blush. So, yeah, really happy that I've got this. This is a really nice blush. The next thing in here is this big sachet. This is the Percy and Reed Totally TLC Hydrating Mask. It retails for £22. Um, and it says, no matter how thick or thin your hair is, all strands need one thing, moisture. Use it in place of your conditioner, leave in for two to three minutes and rinse a star as usual. So this is actually in, in place of the conditioner. So maybe I will like this. There's quite a lot in there. I reckon I could split it into two, you know? Like it does feel quite full, the packet feels quite full, so I reckon I can get two uses out of that and yeah, give it a go. Two minutes isn't much, two minutes is alright I feel for a hair mask. And the next thing is this thing floating around in a box, it is a Lizritzy Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tidal. Let's get it open and see. Ooh, it's a pretty shade. This is like, this is like a me shade, I love these 
rosy mauvey tones this is a really pretty shade like that is so wearable and it's so like rich in tone but not bright so it's not daring but it's quite quite captivating I quite like it I love these tones and I feel like this is so wearable with just like a little bit of brown eyeshadow like fluffed on the eyelids and then just a little bit of mascara and then like a bold mauvey lip it's not too bold I, I don't know I feel like I'm ranting but I just love these colors and the last thing by the looks of it is a mask so this sheet mask is £7.50 and is a K-Beauty sheet mask. It's called the OK Bubble Sheet Mask. Um, it says the innovative sheet mask reacts with the oxygen in the air to form tiny bubbles when you place it on your face. Not only does it result in a hilariously foamy face, but it purifies and smooths skin for a radiant complexion. Apply to clean skin, leave for 10 minutes, then remove and rinse your clean. And then remove and rinse your face clean. For me to spend a lot of money on skincare, I, I want to know that it works before I invest in it. £7.50 for me for one mask I think is too expensive. I would quite happily pay £30 for a pot mask. Um, you know, so if this came in a pot or in a packet with loads of sachets for £7.50, I'd quite happily pay that. I don't personally like paying more than three to four pounds for a mask because it's one use. So to me, I think more than three or four pounds is too much. Seven pound fifty would not repurchase, even if it gave me miraculous skin. Like, it's just too expensive. It's just too expensive. If it came with three for seven pound fifty, I think that would be fair. So, that's just where I stand on it. It's cool though, because I do like innovative skin masks and things like that. So that's really cool. The next box is glossy box. Look how pretty this box is. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Like. For me, a glossy box, just kill it with the design. Birchbox do a brilliant design every month, which I think is why they're so lovely all the time. But when glossy box decides to step away from their normal pink box, I'm just like, gimme, gimme. We'll pick up the first thing that I see here. Okay, so apparently this is an extra treat. This is the Incredible Pore Strip by May Beauty. It retails for £3.50. I'm sure that you get a few more in that packet. Um, for £3.50. Um, and it basically just removes your blackheads and impurities. I mean, it doesn't seem like anything other than a pore strip. I love pore... Oh, you get two strips in here. That's good. I love pore strips. I do a pore strip probably twice a month, once a month. I don't do it that often, but I definitely do a pore strip on a regular basis, um, even if it is only monthly, because I like to extract everything from my face. Usually, like, I try to every now and again. So, yeah, cool. I like pore strips. The next thing in here is a set of big lips. This is the Derma Boulevard or BLVD. I'm sure it's short for Boulevard. Beauty Boulevard? That makes sense. Divine Hydra Gel Lip Mask. You get two of these in the packet um, and it retails for £7.50, which um, is kind of expensive but kind of fair. You get two, it's only like £3 each, sort of, so it's not too bad. Um, it says for smooth, plump, kissable lips, look no further, formulated with green tea, green tea extracts and moisture boosting hyaluronic acid, these masks rescue dry lips. I suffer from dry lips quite a lot, but I feel like my skin, um, it like my skin, like the skin cycle on my lips is quite fast. These sound really interesting. I want to have a look at what they look like. I've actually never tried a lip mask. I've tried eye masks. I've tried hair masks, foot masks, hand masks. I've never tried a lip mask. Oh look, they look like big juicy lips. <laughs> the next thing in here. It is this. This is the Imperial Leather Fantasy Icons Cosmetic Unicorn Shower Gel. It retails for £1.99. Um, it says we couldn't resist injecting some fun into our daily shower routines inspired by cosmic moons and sparkles. Gag. Um, it will leave your skin soft and magically scented with pink grapefruit, citrus and floral aromas. Who doesn't want to shower like a unicorn? I mean, I'm not really on board with the whole unicorn mermaid thing. Like... My younger cousin is, she loves unicorns and mermaids and fairies and all that sort of stuff, but for me, um, I can appreciate it, I just don't like it, you know? It's just not really my vibe. But if it's yours, fair enough. Oh, it smells good though, I'll give it that. The next thing in here, we've got like a few makeup y bits by the looks of it, but I'm gonna pick up this. This is the Nico Pro Liquid Jelly Blush in the shade Barley. Shimmers of gold combined with a beautiful pink hue to give your cheeks a flush of colour and a natural sparkle this winter. We love the unique jelly formula that's hydrating, pigmented, and lightweight. Huh. Okay, it's so retails for £12, which I feel. 
12 pounds isn't bad for a blush. Ugh. It's weird. It just looks weird. Oh, it feels weird. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a little bit on my hand. It feels very wet and cold, and it looks very shimmery on the end of my finger. Let's give it a swatch next to that lipstick that I applied earlier. Ooh. I mean, it's a beautiful colour. It's very, very wet looking. Um, those gold flecks definitely do stand out and make it look very shimmery. But I feel like if you just applied this a small amount and just like dotted it, maybe as a blush topper, then this would look beautiful. I feel like maybe I could try it on my face. Should we do it? Let's just do it. I'm taking it off the back of my hand, which is what I love to do with cream products, um, just so it sort of evens it out and doesn't get like a big clump of it all at once. That's probably the best way I'd suggest for cream products is to squirt a bit on the back of your hand, rub it about to get it all even so you haven't got some like heaviness and some lightness, get like an even spread, and then just pounce it in with your finger. It's very glowy. It's very glowy. I quite like it. I quite like it. The next thing in here is this thing. This is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Shimmer Roll. Uh, shimmer and Champagne are Christmas essentials. So you'll love this luxurious, no lustrous even, Champagne Shimmer Roll. This iridescent highlighter glides <coughs> on and contains pure pigments that blend seamlessly and shimmer endlessly. Use to uh, highlight your eyes, cheekbones or body for a festive glow. This is a full size and retails for £20. <laughs> Yeah, you're expensive. Can you see that from back there? Because that's beautiful. It's very powdery, um, so what I'd suggest with this product is to apply a little bit. Wow, that's really beautiful. I'd apply a little bit and then kind of pat it out or apply some and then get like a wet brush to kind of lock it in place. But yeah, that's really pretty. I don't know if it's worth £20. I feel like that'll all be kind of set in the longevity of it, like when it's on your face. If it lasts a long time, I feel like it'd be worth £20. Um, but just now, just looking at that, that is that is pretty. The last thing, I think, yeah, the last thing in the box is something by Duce. This is the Duce Relentless Lip Matte Crayon in the shade Winterberry. This retails for £16.95 and is a full-size product. Um, it says, reminiscent of mulled wine and winterberries, this rich, bold red lip crown couldn't be more Christmassy if it tried. Long lasting and deeply pigmented, it smooths on for an ultra matte finish. I think I like it, I don't like it for like £17. I wouldn't say it's worth £17, it already looks a little bit streaky. Um, I think it'll feel nice on the lips, it feels quite like moussey but quite matte. So I don't think it'll be drying at all, but that's a pretty shade. And on our last box, which is Pink Parcel. There's not a particular Christmassy bag in here. It just says self-love inside, which is cute. I do keep all these bags. I don't know what for. I don't know if they'll come in handy, but I don't want to throw them away because they're like cotton. So I wish they would either have a special cotton bag that they'd come out with a couple of times a year, like Glossy Box does with their different boxes, like a Halloween bag, a Christmas bag, a random bag for like... Women's Day or something, but I wish that they wouldn't keep coming out with cotton bags because I don't know what to do with them. I wish they were like paper bags instead that I could recycle. I believe we do not have a paper leaflet to go with the pink parcel, so it's kind of annoying because I can't tell you about the products, but we'll try and take a stab in the dark and I'll try and tell you as much as I possibly can. The first thing that we have are candy kittens. Now, I absolutely love candy kittens. They're actually, <laughs> I kind of, bought a load of them earlier on in the year and then I actually did read the back of the packaging and I was like actually these aren't that great for you. When you look on the back of the packet it does say it's a vegan recipe, gluten free, natural colours and flavours are made with real fruit juice so the marketing is very clever on this because it does emphasise all of the good aspects about them so you think these are healthy, they're healthy sweets, they must be but they're, they're not, they're actually full of sugar, absolutely full of it. The next thing in here is this. I hate this. This is the Mana Kadar Glow Illuminator. Step three, perfect. It just looks like this, comes in this lovely little pink tube. Um, the product itself is what I don't like about it. I feel like it's far too much money. I believe it's about £20 and this is like a full size. So it's far too much money. Basically it's supposed to be a liquid illuminator but there's nothing illuminating about it. It just looks like you put a moisturiser on. Like it looks glowy and then you realise so does a moisturiser. Like it doesn't offer any like pearl pigments or anything, so there's nothing special about it. It wouldn't perform like this. I think it's supposed to look wet, 
but it just doesn't. It says it's an incandescent liquid that lights up the skin with all over radiance. Yes, it does, until you put something on top of it, just like a moisturiser, and then it's gone. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it sealed until I find another owner for this that would like it and like to use it. And the next thing in here is another product I don't like very much. Um, the colour of this puts me off and I don't know if it goes off really quickly or not. This is the Balance Me Flash Cleanse Micellar Water. It's 99% natural, this is like a little sample size but the colour of it is like yellow and that really puts me off because I've received some that are clear and I had one that was clear and I had it for a long time and I was like oh crap forgot about that and it went this colour so I'm not too sure if it's off or not because it's like 99% natural. It doesn't smell too bad, but equally it doesn't smell great either. I just don't I just don't like it. I don't really rate it. It kind of stings my eyes a little bit. Nah. The next thing in here is our tea bag. Oh, what the hell? This is the Dial Bar tea bag with chocolate, uh turmeric, ginger, and peppercorns, I think that is. An almond, sorry. Wait, what? Chocolate, turmeric, ginger and almond. I completely got that wrong. I was trying to read the recipe on the back to see if I got it right. That just sounds really weird to me. I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> the next thing in here is this. And I'm pretty sure this is the same thing. Because this is like... Because this is like a uh, the beauty of giving thing, like for Christmas. Beauty of giving. Enjoy your full size Lord and Berry crown lipstick and here's another one for your friend in the same shade cool so this is the lord and berry 20100 maxi matte crown lipstick in the shade here and now and um, we've had quite a few lord and berry products in the past it just looks like a well a pencil crayon there's not much to it to be honest and um, i like the ends the end is colored the same as what the product is so i quite like that let's give it a swatch i do like the color i think it's a very beautiful corally uh, orangey colour, very very pretty but um, just very bizarre to put in a December box that's all but I like it. The next thing we have is a sachet. I've actually already got one of these because I haven't used it up and I think I've got it in the same box. It's the Anatomicals Deep Hair Conditioning Pack. It says wash your hair with your favourite anatomical shampoo, basically just wash your hair um, and then leave this in for a few minutes for a greater wrap, no for a greater effect wrap in a heated towel Oh my god, ain't nobody got time for that. This sachet retails for a pound, um, which I think is a good price because a hair pack, you're only using it once, so I think a pound is a very good price, um, very affordable. Don't know where you get it from, you can get it from like Topshop, I think. So, yeah, cool. And the last thing in here is. Oh, a lip mask. Oh, we've got two lip masks now. How exciting. This is another K-Beauty or Korean Beauty uh, lip mask. It's made in Korea, especially for you. Liven up your beauty regime with this OK lip mask. Um, just leave, oh my goodness, leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. Long time, but I'm down for it. I like it. Cherry gel lip mask. Cool. For me, this is a really, really easy voting. I mean, last place for me is really easy. Uh, Pink Parcel is most definitely a last place. It it didn't really speak to me. I'm really tossing between Glossy Box and Birch Box, and I think I'm going to put them in joint first place because these are both quality boxes. Both of them had interesting products in, and both a variety of products as well. There's a little bit of makeup, a little bit of skincare, a little bit of body care, a little bit of hair care. It's just quite nice. They're just quite nice boxes. Yeah, I'm quite happy with both of these boxes and therefore they're both in joint first place. So here are the results. Looking at it, we have Birchbox in first place with 16 points, Glossybox in second with 15 points and Pink Parcel in behind with 9.5 points. For me, I just feel like it says it all about these boxes. Um, Glossybox and Birchbox have been brilliant throughout the year. They've had a few moments where they've been a bit like, what the hell is this box all about? But I feel like they've been consistently great for this year and a half. Um, it has been 18 months, like I said, not 12, but uh, we'll just forgive that for a moment. This year, this year going forward will be just for a year. So hopefully their marking grading system should be a little bit clearer, hopefully, I'm hoping. The Birch Box and Glossy Box have been consistently great throughout the year. Pink Parcel is a great box, guys. You do get all of 
couple of sanitary towels in this box and it's only £10 including postage packaging I think. It's not a bad box, it just doesn't excite me beauty wise as much as the other two. So yeah, unfortunately with the results the way they are, we're going to have to say goodbye to Pink Parcel which is really sad. Um, I think I'll still continue to order Pink Parcel and just keep it behind the scenes because I do actually really enjoy getting all the sanitary products delivered to my door because I'm a lazy girl and I forget to buy them sometimes and trust me it's not a nice place to be when it's like 11 o'clock at night the stores are closed and you have no sanitary towels we've all been there ladies it's not very nice instead I kind of saw it going this way obviously because the points are the way they were but instead we are going to have a new box in the system it is going to be rocker box. I was going to put Battle of the Boxes to an end but it still kind of gets a decent amount of views and sort of thumbs up so I'm guessing you guys still enjoy it. If you do hit the thumbs up button so I know you do enjoy these videos um, but like I said rocker box is coming in for 2019 so that should be exciting and spice up the mix a bit. Hopefully glossy box and birch box are still consistent but I'm kind of hoping that one of them ends up in last place so that we can see something different in the mix. I'm quite excited to see that for next year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and ring the bell so that you can be notified on all my videos I upload. I try to upload consistently twice a week, but you know, life happens. It happens. Thank you guys for watching once again and I will see you in my next one. Bye. If I can stop coughing, that would be wonderful. Mm, 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 mm. I got really bad acid reflux and it's making me feel a little bit queasy. Oh my gooch, I've got purple eyeshadow on my new watch. Someone help me.